Hello back everybody. We got me a haircut today. I got all slick looking shit. Try to get that look like Rock Ages got. His haircut, his beard, really like it, man. You really got your shit straight there. Well, we got my oil change this morning. That was a long wait at the dealership. Had all made it backed up. I had to go to Royal King, get a battery for the Kubota. It was getting on its last leg. On a battery, so we ain't got one. Then went to Walmart, got a few things, got my hair cut. Well, Joyce, she stayed home today, the weather was shitty, it's still shitty. I was glad it was spraying, well, I thought spraying was here, but I guess it's not. I'm getting ready to go, won't go fishing. Been too damn cold, rainy every time today. Well, story I got to tell you. Years ago, I'm talking years ago, I was running senior mate. I was on a boat, Alan Martin. Had a hell of a damn good crew on that Alan Martin. Loved them boys to death. Well, one old boy, um, he was on the Chip Lacey, and he tried, he come rode with us about a trip or something, one transfer. His name's old Ben Ellis. He's down in Tennessee, around Chattanooga area, somewhere around that. Well, he was a big old boy, he was a kid. I mean, but damn good person. And, um, we go up the river one day and I had him change the, we had a big old dead clock and went across the bow of the boat and then door led into the galley. That old Big Ben, that's what I call him, Big Ben. I had him change up, I think that four foot fluorescent bugs out on the dead clock one day. And he was taking them down I went to the galley and about a minute, a minute later I heard glass breaking. Well, what the hell, I must draw. I walked in there glass everywhere and he's holding his head. I said, what the hell, Big Ben? He said, man, I took that bug down like you asked me to. I said, okay. He said, he was playing Star Wars like he had a lifesaver. He, he said, man, I swear that thing around. I brought it up and smacked myself around the damn head with it and shattered it. Well, we was riding in a three-week schedule. We worked three weeks and off three weeks on that Alan Martin. I think it was almost a week left getting back on the boat, maybe half a week. He got in a car wreck. Him and his girlfriend's up there. I'm gonna just say Chad knew, because I know he got the boat there sometimes. He lived around that area. He went around the curve, somebody hit him head on. I had him on life support there, I don't know. A few days they pulled a plug on him, but he was a damn good person right there. I've lost a lot of friends. I'm gonna say friends, that's good friends I've worked with on them boats that have been killed. Had another fellow, I, I can't remember his name for nothing. And this was many moons ago. He loved racing four wheelers, loved them. Younger guy, had a family, and he got off the boat. He died, I think it's 4th of July, Independence Day or something. He um, had a four wheeler wreck, smacked a tree, killed him instantly. A lot of good people I've known. Well, that was the kind of story I've been thinking about old Ben the other day. Seeing something just remind me of him. I'd like to find out where he's buried and at least, you know, go pay my respects to him. And last time I ever seen him, we got off the boat that time. Well, Joyce has demolished a trailer. I helped a little bit, not much. She loaded all the shit up to the scrapyard. She made a pretty good penny out of that camper. Goes, Hell, the sidings were aluminum and brass, copper. Now, I told her, I said, I, we took her whole truck. She got a big old, big truck, bigger than mine, big full size. And um, she loaded it down with wood that come out of the camper. Well, $10 at the dump. So I said, you owe me $10 because this project was yours. So I got my $10. Anyway, took it all off and God, I'd take all the brass fittings off of all galvanized pipes. That was an ordeal, but I, now I had some more brass to it. I told her, you owe me $10 for the dump and that money for the brass. So I got, I got, I think $30 out of the scrap metal. She made more than I did. She took a load off the other day, just metal and shit like that. She made some money off of. Now just taking everything to the dump. Um, I think she texted me earlier while I was in the haircut in place. And I think she finally threw her bike out, doing all that damn work. 
I think she got her truck loaded with scrap wood. I'm gonna take it off tomorrow. Then probably when I get back in, take that trailer or camper, whatever you'll call it, tear the floor out of it, haul it off, and see what if the frame's any good. I don't know if the axles are any good. She said it rolled that day. When it's pulling across the yard, but I didn't see it, so I don't know if the axles are good enough or that's what I want to use it for. Just make another utility trailer out of it or something like that. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the puzzle video I did that Joyce made put together the mash puzzle. They just love doing them puzzles. <coughs> Excuse me. But she does a lot more than I do. If I just don't like the puzzle, I just ain't gonna have no part of it. But I love the outdoor, the scenery, puzzles and stuff, but I don't know. It's, I gotta have stuff with a little fine detail like that mash puzzle. It had a lot of fine detail that I could look at a piece and look at the puzzle to tell where it goes. But if I was on a boat, she had got a puzzle. And we buy a lot of our puzzles, well, she buys them a lot from yard sales and thrift stores, stuff like that. You know, some use, some not use. But she got a puzzle wall back it supposed to be a fox you know picture of a fox well she she could put a puzzle together without looking at the box most of the time well she started doing this puzzle she kept telling me she said this puzzle is not a fox it's something else I said okay come to find out it was Elvis Presley it was a picture of Elvis Presley I said, when did you figure out when she said, when she started seeing the stars on his robe? But I did not know this. She was an a Elvis fan. I did not know that one damn bit. But um, she picked up some puzzles the other day. And I'm going to call it a thrift store. A place over in Marshall County that sells stuff for the community. But um, walked in there. She, she goes there all the time with her mother. Well, I found some of them Kodak projector slides that my mom and dad had one of them. This is a carousel. You put the little slides in, show up on the wall. Well, I found some of them trays. Brand damn, I mean, they wasn't new like manufactured yesterday. They was old, but they were brand new, never been used. And I showed her to her. I said, well, how much? I know these some of them are expensive. How much are they? Well, she looked them up, and it's quite a bit for what she got them for, and she can resell them. She can resell the shit out of anything, make you a penny off of it. Well, anyway, um, she bought these two puzzles. I didn't look at that good, but they were still sealed. Well, I was watching Roseanne yesterday, the old Roseanne. Got the complete edition of it. And I got curious and looked them up on eBay. The damn puzzle she bought, I don't think she gave more than five, ten cents a piece for it. They might have been a dollar, too. I don't remember. The damn things are worth about 50 to 25 bucks on eBay. And sure enough, I guarantee you, if she don't do these puzzles, she'll put them online and get her money, triple her money back out. She's good at that shit. But I can walk in one of them thrift stores and I'll just look around. Well, okay, ain't nothing in there. There ain't nothing outdoor. Ain't nothing I can blow shit up with. But... She will find something, I mean, prestige condition, and make money off of it. She's got that art of doing that. Well, I got her whopper, so I'm taking her whopper home today. I don't think she's feeling too good. I've been out running around doing ditch and stuff today, ditching pamper, and got a haircut, beard trim, oil changing my truck. So, go home, take care of her now. I gotta leave in a couple of days. Back to the grind, be on working nights this time. But that's about the gist of the story today. Old Ben Ellis, love that guy, love him to death. We all take care, and I'll catch you on the rebound.